is in, explain in detail a yoke yoke to a tattoo machine saw another video right now and just made me crack up he said that the yoke was uh, uh, this part right here that part the arm to bar nipple yeah no that's not the yoke uh, it has nothing to do with the yoke and no there isn't two names for parts on machines that would just confuse all of us right so the yoke is actually intended for completing a, a full circuit on a non-magnetic frame if the frame is wood if it's plastic if it's uh, like this one would be taken apart this is a uh, looks like a polyurethane coated plastic rubber type material this actually was like the stinger or whatever off of uh, uh, James Watson created it off of uh, superiortattoo.com, $70 machine. Um, so I use it for training purposes now. It's, it's not a very good machine um, for a lot of reasons. But no, again, nothing against you, Watson. Um, you make some awesome freaking mob irons. Those mob irons machines are awesome. So anyways, this uh, machine is from superiortattoo.com, $70 machine. I'd advise don't go get it. It, it does some weird funky shit to your uh, tattoos. Put it in, bam, no matter what voltage, it bubbles up. It bubbles up that ink inside. You could actually, like a blood blister. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like it. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. The coils look okay, but anyways. This is a non-magnetic non frame, and this is the yoke. This is a cheap yoke, but technically what you want to do is have this yoke that completes the circuit from negative and positive coil on the bottom of the coils okay and you primarily you want this material to be the same as your core material always so if it's iron cores have an iron yoke if it's uh, just regular metal 1018 steel have 1018 steel yoke and then we'll get into that this is a yoke on the bottom of this machine this machine is not magnetic this yoke on the bottom is a pretty good yoke. Um, it does not match the coil cores at this point in time, but it, it, it actually runs pretty damn good. Um, for uh, purposes, but the, you know, the better, the better the yoke is manufactured, the better that and more smooth that your operation and tuning of your machine is gonna be. So let it match the, the core, you know what I mean? and if you buy a machine that requires one, I'm assuming that the manufacturer manufactured the same material yoke on the bottom as the course that they made. So I, I stuck this one together and made it. It runs real good, real consistent, no, uh, no spark. You know what I mean? So it's a, this is a, color packer shader that I came up with. There's two sweet spots on this. One is right there, and one is right there. So that's my hard hitter sweet spot, and this is my soft hitter sweet spot. Right there. Soft shading. And hard shading, right there, and color right there. Right. Sorry about the background noise, dudes. I can't do nothing about that right now. Um, so basically, I just want to show you a real quick in depth on your yoke, non magnetic frame. That's the purpose in order for the positive and the negative polarities and terminals to go through a complete circuit through front and rear binding post which is positive and negative terminal. terminal real quick you are training required coil. to have this yoke which the, the bottom there. of the uh, the coil I have a lot of background noise it's kind of early usually I do my videos between the hours of midnight and four and five in the morning so uh, just go ahead and secure that ok 
okay? Basically, this is what it looks like. And you'll want a, a washer up under here. But that's, that depends on how high your coil is already. Machines that require a yoke usually are inset lower or use, you know, 10 wraps opposed to eight, eight layer coils. Uh, because you remember that we have to have that specific gap up on top. And when the armature bar is placed, you're gonna have to do adjustments. So that when this is pressed down on the front coil, you have that rear gap. You could already see the paper rear gap, so I'm okay with these size coils here with the yoke on. Um, if I wasn't and it needed to go up, I would add a shim washer on the bottom. Or if it was too much, I would file the top of the I would file the top of my coil core, or I would add shim washers here. Okay? So that's what that's used for. And without this, this machine won't run. Uh, without that yoke. So a yoke is intended for non-magnetic frames to complete the conductive properties and the magnetic circuitry of your machine and coils. Front and rear binding posts which serves as the positive and the negative terminal. And the, uh, the negative is your rear and the positive is your front, I believe. So uh, if not it's backwards and then we get into the cap. So on a capacitor, on a capacitor, we'll get into a capacitor video too, but for right now, for instance, on this cap, you have a little indentation on the bottom, and the arrow is pointed downwards, okay? So when you install, the arrow is pointing up to where the positive terminal is, all right? So this would be placed down, this would go to the front binding post, and this one would go to the rear. How I know that is because of the arrows and indication of the dent in the capacitor, and we'll do a capacitor video and go through the different types of caps. Um, also, when I start manufacturing my machines, I'm going to have quick change, quick change caps. So basically, in essence, you could change from these quick change caps, I'll have like you know, a couple for you guys in, included in my machines when I send them out and you guys buy them. Uh, they'll be called uh, quick change caps, all right? So basically you could change your caps out and one one's for the liner and one's for the shader and all you gotta do is just switch it out and you can have a liner and a shader by switching out your capacitor. That's one of the good things about what I'm gonna be doing soon. No, I just let you have that. So to recap, your uh, your yoke should be the same material as your coil core. If your coil core is 1018 steel, let it be a 1018 steel cut yoke. And if it's iron, make it a uh, 3 quarters inch iron yoke. Because the more tight and tuned we can get with the whole entire complete process and circuitry, and geometry of a machine that's how it's going to run a lot smoother and that's going to be indicated in your final work which that's what we're all shooting for and your client's going to be happy you're going to be happy you're going to be successful i'm going to be successful we're all going to be successful in the movement peace and i uh am working on a couple more videos for you i know you guys want the lining and the shading and i know you guys want the in skin tutorials they're coming uh, those tutorials take time and um, I've got to get it straight. The only camera that I have right now is on a laptop eyesight, and it's very difficult. You know, the angle has to be put down like this, and, you know, I can't get, get places with that. Um, and I don't have anybody to sit there with my cell phone for HD. If I did, it'd be awesome. You know, I'm going to figure some stuff out. i got to get a, a camera and have a little tripod so that I can set up and zoom in and focus and, and all the things that I want to do. Especially if I'm going to be coming up with these DVD sets and stuff like that. Definitely got to get the materials needed and the tools needed to uh, get this kicked off. And um, I'm in the works of all that. Been busting my ass. Arse. Arse. I love how you guys from uh, overseas say arse. Especially like UK and stuff like that. London and Britain. You guys kill me. Crack me up. And I'm glad to see that I'm getting some subscribers out of... Uh, certain different countries. I did a statistics and it was only Alaska and the United States and I'm like, 
nobody out of the United States has peeped this channel. That's crazy. But uh, I found out that there is through a couple of uh, subscribers, and that's awesome. I love that. That inspires me. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Peace. Thanks for subscribing. Bye.